Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This stuff just came in today, so this is fresh. But <clears throat> anyway, this is probably a driver you've never heard of. Um, I saw something on Instagram where someone, um, you know, showed off stuff from this driver, and that's how I even found out about him. He's not in NASCAR, um, but he is in the JEGS CRA All-Stars Tour, um, which obviously goes to a lot of short tracks, as you can see. You can see a picture of him with the crew on the back there. And then on the front, you have a picture of his late model, um, you know, Zachary Tinkle. I don't know if I have actually mentioned his name yet. T Zachary Tinkle, number 53 in that series. Then you have your sponsors, uh, your social media, and a picture of him. So that's the hero card. Um, now, what I saw on Instagram was actually a promo diecast that they made, which is strange because they literally use, you know, like a NASCAR stock car model, and clearly <clears throat> that's not at all what this is. But my first thought was to get that, um, and this is probably just me. It probably works fine if you want to get one, but the only payment method for some reason they would take is PayPal, and is PayPal, and that was it. Um, my PayPal is kind of fucked up and I just couldn't sign in no matter what I tried. I could sign in, but it wouldn't let me pay anything. It's weird. There was a whole thing. And until, you know, they add like Venmo or actual credit cards, um, I'm not going to <laughs> try that again. But there are promo diecasts, not of this white car, but it was like some colorful car lots of colors on it like i said it, it's not the most accurate thing because it is on a stock car a nascar stock car model but it is an official promo from lionel technically so anyway um also we have a sticker here which i will add to the binder stuff that i have uh zacharytinkle.com is the website where you can get the stuff as well this was all free by the way this is just one of those things where it's like uh send away for free hero card sort of thing and here we are um I don't remember when I did it. It was several weeks ago, but, you know, that's normal for any driver to, uh, when you request your cards, for it to take a while. But uh, also what we have here is stuff that reminds me of my elementary school library <laughs> inspirational bookmarks, I believe. I, I, I don't know what else these would be. I assume these are supposed to be bookmarks. Um, you see, you know, I have, have kind of a, I assume a cartoon version of the driver of tinkle and then reading books which i believe is one of the sponsors on here was it maybe it wasn't i don't know <laughs> maybe they just had bookmarks but apparently he has literal children's books <laughs> um which is very interesting uh so that might be the tie-in because he might have children's books and then they're like oh throw in bookmarks so and then we have another one um, apparently Left Paw Press is a sponsor, but it's not really on, it's not on, wait, no, it's right there. I'm an idiot. Okay. Yeah. It's the first sponsor on there. Um, so yeah, that's what this company is. And that's why I have children's bookmarks in here. Um, and <laughs> this first one is very questionable, but I guess you have other bookmarks, including the one I just showed. Um, once you learn to read, you'll never... You will forever be free. Thank you, Frederick Douglass. Very cool. So this one's more of like a promotional thing for the company. And this one is the actual bookmark for Zachary Tinkle. So, and then of course the sticker, which I'll put on my binders of stuff and the hero card. So this is the first new thing that I've had in quite a while. You know, that wasn't a die cast. Um, something that I could show off on, on a video like this. But, um... Can't say there's going to be much in the future. Um, but anyway, that is pretty much it for me. Thanks for watching. And also, the um, something I want to point out, the Binder series, that will, that will either be cut off in early July or later July, depending on if more stuff starts to open up. Because I have two scenarios. I could finish off the binders of stuff that I know I have never um shown on this channel before which i'm guaranteed to do that much because i want to show off everything i have um in there and that would end like july 2nd july 3rd but if i were to continue and show off you know other binders 
that I've that are full are completed but I have shown on this channel but it was like two or three four years ago where most people currently watching probably haven't seen uh, that would take us to like July 20th or late July which might give some more time to be easily um, easily um, get more highlight videos in a consistent basis once we get to that point you know in early July who knows um, I think things will open more but early July it I don't know I if I try to start do, doing consistent highlight videos then it might still be a bit of a struggle now I will say that the closest short track to me Orange County Fair Speedway it's, it's still an hour 20 if it were a lot closer I would consider just starting it up now because they are allowing fans uh, like 300 um, starting this Saturday. Um, however, like I said, it's an hour and 20 minutes and they want $50. So, so, um, and basically to keep it up consistently, um, you know, highlight videos, I would have to basically be there every week, which is not something I'm opposed to at all, but just the fact driving that far to the same place every single week, not that much of a deal to me either. However, it's the money that's the problem. If they're, I understand why they have to charge that much. They need to cut their losses. I get that. But to pay that much each week when I am currently not making that much, it's just not feasible. I'd rather wait till more stuff opens up, like minor league baseball. Not affiliated. I, I think they're done for the year. But like Atlantic League and Frontier League, because those obviously are a lot cheaper, $10 and under. So I'd rather wait till those come out. Maybe still do an Orange County video. I still want to do one or two eventually, but I can't be doing that every week, although it is technically possible starting tomorrow. Um, but, you know, so I will... So the Binder series, I do want to finish it. You know, I don't want to stop it right in the middle. So it will at least be going until July. And then once I get past the threshold of binders that I haven't shown off at all... Then we'll see where my decision goes then. But anyway, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, and I will see you all later.